Good morning. We had a little dusting of snow, which kind of scuppers my plans because I was going to do the big wreath on that fence there. I have a big wreath and I've still got to move all the pumpkins. So I can't do that, but I'm not going to complain because I love snow so much that it's not going to dampen my spirits for the day. I'm probably still going to go head out and collect the um, Christmas trees from Home Bargains, the £10 ones, because I'm going to chop them up and use them for wreaths and things like that. I have got a ton of um, farty, faffy little bits that I need to do in the house. I'm going to finish the kitchen window. I've got some snow spray and some chalk pens. I think will feel like it's really coming together and I should be able to get that done by the end of the day. And do you know what I have got to do? That, that might actually be a really good place to start because I have been making them in different sizes. Paper doily angels. Old school craft. We're going old school this year. I've had this craft idea in mind ever since I did my paper doily stars, which I don't know if you've seen. Paper doily angels and they are so cute and so traditional. I've got a whole load of doilies different sizes. I got these on Amazon, but the pound shop are doing them at the moment for a pound as well. So I'm going to do some dinky ones, two per angel, and do a little fold. It really is up to you how sort of chunky you want your angel to be. You can have a practice with white paper. They're actually nice on their own, aren't they as well? I like them anyway, but have a practice on ordinary paper. Fold it back and forth like a concertina. You're just making a fan. I'm going to fold that in and then the last bit in and then repeat so you've got just one of those in make sure it's the same size how do I make sure it's the same size I'm just going to guess it but you can measure it if you want to I think this is a great one to do with kids um, and it, they always look so pretty and so effective to have up but you know handmade decorations actually look really nice new pieces like so it's one of those actually annoyingly i've ended up with one of those purple glue sticks just going to glue it down the middle her together and then put them on like this make sure the concertinas go in the same way stick that together and then to make the wings you just going to choose how how big you want the wings to be fold them over and the same again we're just going to glue in there a little bit of glue on one arm and a little bit of glue on the other wing like that. that'll need to dry but that is your cute little angel that one that's dried over here actually these were sold as present toppers they were in Sainsbury's but they were in the sale last year I think they were about 30p I can't remember exactly but I did. actually these are little glass ones but I'm not working with children you could use plastic ones you could use pom-poms I'm thinking you could use pom-poms you could use plastic baubles you could make beads I've seen people do them with wooden beads which is also a really nice idea I'm gonna dab a little bit of the glue gun on there and open out the wings so that they're in the right position. Pop that right in the middle. How pretty is that? That's what you're gonna end up with. So pretty and so easy to do. You could do them in the holidays as like a little craft with some friends. You could do them anyway. So I'm gonna make a few more of those and I'm gonna use them to hang all the way around my window, my kitchen window. And I feel like I'm on the home stretch by the time I reach the window. Doing, carrying on the sort of theme of the red and the white. Let's close it up. Big red bows. Got my candy cane, which I'm chopping down to make a little bit smaller. And that's going to be uh, like um, a curtain rail and some lights to hang off it. We should be tiny, tiny little plastic hooks. They're like sort of fake command strips type things. You can get them anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them on, um, where else? Can everywhere. <laughs> Loads of places. Oh, oh, we've got a little bit of snow today, which is really exciting. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. We'll take it. We don't mind. Tiny is better than no snow. I'm just going to paint some baubles with some snow and some 
chalk paint on the windows. Hopefully you can see it from outside because the sun's really shining. It's literally the bluest of blue skies today. Snow. Stencil. It's harder than it looks. Okay, so we have got this. Now I've just put this oh no I've dropped it um the sticky hooks again just like the ones i used here I've put a little bit of wire on the end i sprayed this pink in the summer when i was in a pink mood like everybody was but now I want it a different colour, so I'm going to spray it red for Christmas. on the top here as well. I've gone and lost the daylight now to be able to show you properly, but oh, I don't think you can see. Oh, it's so frustrating, this kitchen, it gets so dark, but. in the Christmas sale. I, I knew I'd been eyeing them up all last winter and they were originally, what were they originally? No, but anyway, they were £1.10 each and I just basically bought, I think I spent a fiver, I bought whatever was left over. I had no idea what I was going to use them for this year. Just putting them on here, they've got like a, like a red wire. So I put them up there like that to make it look like the curtains are wrapped like Christmas present. I think that is a winner. So I've still got to do those top shelves, not done anything yet. Still got to decorate all of that. Still got to fix all of them. I did go down a rabbit hole though because I, when I was rooting through all my Christmas decks, I found some of these things. And I don't know if you've noticed that not only is ribbon trending, but this old school tinsel's trending too. Just take a tiny bit of it, you chop the top off, you chop it into tiny pieces, and you just bob it on the edge. And then you let, let it just drape down. But I just don't know. I don't know if it's, if it's just an idea too much. I tend to put all my favourite things on all at the same time. So I'm, I'm, I'm terrible for, uh, for that. Should I do that across the whole tree or not? Obviously there'd be more than that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Before I sign off for the day, I have one final job to do. And that is to go and collect some trees from Home Bargains. I think it's 10 99 a tree. I'm going to get two of them. I put one in the back garden just for decorations. And I take one and I chop it up um, to use for wreaths and things. Um, we have secured the goods. I'm going home. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>